Well, how's everybody doing? I finally got stir crazy enough in the house. The last three to four weeks we've had terrible weather. I mean, we've had winter storm Stella, s snow after snow, cold, it's just extremely cold weather. So I just haven't had it in me to get out and do any shooting. But lo and behold, today it was nearly 60 degrees. I mean, just out of nowhere, just first day of spring. So I guess maybe that's why. But uh, yeah, it's just beautiful today. One of the very few days in the last three to four weeks that we've even had sun come out and it was a decent enough temperature to even get outside and do anything. So, you know, I, I couldn't waste the opportunity. So I grabbed the bag, threw the drone in the, in the truck, grabbed some, uh, I picked up some new Lee neutral density filters, some graduated filters. So I brought those out today. Um, where I'm at right now, is at a place called Browning Mill Pond. It's in the Arcadia, not Arcadia, but the Arcadia management area here in Rhode Island. Most of the pond is still frozen over, so I'm not going to need to really bring out any, um, you know, little stoppers or big stoppers to smooth out the water. Um, but I think I'm going to try to incorporate the graduated filters to see see what I can get. You know, see if I can get the contrast between the foreground, you know, those, the area in the shadows, and then with the sky. I've never used graduated filters, so this will be something new for me. So hopefully we can get something going. So let's go ahead and walk out here to see if we can't find a good composition. So I've made it out, out to the to the edge of the pond here, and I think I found at least my first composition. Um, but I've got to wait. I think I've got maybe another 20 to 30 minutes before the sun actually is going to get to a point where I'm going to be safe enough to shoot. Because right now, with the composition that I'm looking at, the sun is just directly in front of me. Um, so I wouldn't be able to shoot anything right now anyway. I did just get way too much. Um, glare in the lens and just it would just completely be blown out regardless of what kind of filters I put in there um, but I did find something here I'm gonna see if I can turn the camera around to give you an idea of what I'm looking at and hopefully uh, once the Sun gets down past there's a blanket of clouds just at the horizon that I might be able to use um, to start getting some some shots done because I I'd like to be able to get some some color in the sky hopefully but there's a lot of blue up there, so I'm not sure we're going to get too much action in the sky. So I might be keeping it down low, not using the sky too much tonight. But right now, I just wouldn't be able to shoot because the sun um, and where it's setting right now, it would just completely blow everything out, so I wouldn't be able to do anything. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've got so far right now, and then I'm going to get my gear set up and uh, stand by and wait. All right, so if you can see what I'm looking at right here, there's this dead fallen tree that's just laying here in the pond and all around it the pond is frozen except for this just short spot right here just short of the shore so I'm not really gonna be focused too much on that but yeah so I mean this is gonna be just the the main subject of this composition that I've got right now I mean it's gonna probably create a good leading line 
if you can see in the G85 right now, I'm going to probably put, this is probably just about how I'll frame it on the Nikon once I get it set up. But you can tell with the sun out there in the distance, it's just glaring directly at me right now. I wouldn't be able to get any decent shot, but uh, there is that blanket of clouds that is there that it should be getting behind, I'd say in about another 5 or 10 minutes. So, yeah, I'm going to use this as my focal point. There's nothing really else out there in the in the background except for if we can get any color out of the sky within that clouds. I mean, like I said, I'm going to try and incorporate uh, my graduated neutral density filters to see if I can't use them. I've never used them before, so this will be a learning process for, for all of us. So, All right, so this is the composition. I'm going to go ahead and get the gear out, and I'm going to start setting things up, and then and we'll wait. I'll be right back. not ready to shoot at all uh, but what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna get everything lined up I'm gonna get my composition exactly how I want it I'll get the filter system out I'll put it in I'll have the camera completely ready to go so once the lighting is right I'll be able to just throw down in that uh, graduated filter and get things rolling so right now what I'm trying to do is just find the best angle and composition focal length and everything for this shot. I'm always going to the where I found this lens, the the Nikon 16, the uh, 35 millimeter f/4 lens to be the sharpest is anywhere between um, f/8 and f/11. If I can stay right in between in those in that areas, I'm usually going to have a very um, sharp image from front to back. So I'm going to start with my aperture at f/8. Um, just to see what that does for me. There's this tree right here to my left. I don't know if you saw it when I was showing you the composition. That uh, kind of tends to get into the shot if I go too wide and bring it too far back. So right now I'm looking at about 28 millimeters for my focal length. is about where I'm still getting this entire... Uh, a fallen tree in this dead tree in the frame to where it's not completely all the way to the from corner to corner because I wouldn't want that you know I don't want it to fill the entire frame from corner to corner but what it is right now is I've got it right here at the bottom right hand corner of the frame and it's going out at a diagonal leading line into the center of the frame and then I have the horizon line or the pond line not the horizon line really um, at the edge of this pond and there is a tree line and then directly behind that is where the sun is going to be setting, right at the tip of this fallen tree. And it's right now, it's starting to look like it's going to be a really nice image before I even get anything going. So, yeah, I'm going to get finished getting set up. And we'll talk through the rest of the stuff once I get there. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and get the filters out and get things ready to go. All right, so I'm finally starting to get the light that I wanted. Um... I think it's sun setting right now. I mean, it's down just at the crest of the at the trees right now. So I'm going to tell you what the settings are. I ended up double stacking two of these graduated neutral density filters. I put the the 0.9 grad and the 0.6 grad. Um, the the difference between the the highlighted background and, and the shadowed foreground was so so drastic that it it wasn't giving me much of a difference with just the one uh, neutral density uh, graduated filter so I went ahead and put two in there and as soon as I did that I started to see a really good difference and uh, well actually right now I'm gonna the Sun is cresting that ridge or the tree line and I'm gonna see if I can get see if I can't get it to, to sunburst real quick I'm sorry I changed the subject on you but uh, I switched it real quick to f18 just to see if I can get that that sun to give a good starburst right there because it's right now just hitting 
the, the, the tip of those trees, so it's going beyond it right now. So I took that one. I'll see what it looks like. If it's something worth showing, I'll show it. But let's go ahead and get back to the actual the image itself. Um, I'm down at F8, like I like I had mentioned. 28 millimeters is where I said I was at for focal length. My my focus point, um, since the center of the frame was the top of this dead fallen tree, what I did, what I did is I I focused on the top end of this fallen tree, and when I zoomed in, or not zoomed in, but when I digitally zoomed in on my screen. It really looked good from front to back all the way to the bottom of the pic the, the background of the picture. So I think we're good um, on focus. Uh, what we're getting for, uh, for shutter speed with the neutral density filter or stacking them like this, I'm getting 1 30th of a second. Um, F8, like I said, ISO 100. Everything is on manual. I always do that, especially with this VR lens when it's on a tripod. Anytime you have a VR lens and it's on a tripod, um, it gets confused because it's so stable, so it still tries to hunt for, uh, for, for vibration reduction. So if you have a VR lens and you're on a tripod, make sure that you always turn that off. And then once I got it focused, um, I switched the manual auto to all the way to manual, and I switched the focus switch to manual as well. That way it doesn't get... Uh, knocked around or stop you know because once I have it focused I'm not going to move the camera all that much so I don't really need to change it so 1 30th of a second f8 ISO 100 two stacked graduated neutral density filters is 0.6 grad and a 0.9 grad at 28 millimeters and I think right now is the prime time for the lighting I'm getting some really good golden light now that the sun is down it's hitting those that, that one soft blanket of clouds that are at the horizon, I'm starting to get some really nice golden color on that. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and see what we've got. Yeah, I think that's going to be a really good picture. Um, I, I'm not astonished by it. I don't know if it's going to be one of the best pictures. I don't know if it's going to be a gallery photo. But, you know... For not being able to get out and shoot over the last few days, or actually last few weeks, correction, um, just getting out tonight, it's just been a beautifully calm evening. Uh, matter of fact, there was a, a, a father and three of, their, three of his kids out here tossing rocks in the pond, just having a great time. You know, we talked for a little bit saying, you know, the kids have, haven't been able to get a chance to get out and play often because of the weather has been so bad. So this is one of the first days that they've been, out, been able to get out and play. So that's great. But anyway, I'm just rambling on. So... Um, the image is good, and I'm going to put it up on the screen right now. Okay, so I didn't pack up. I was about to, but uh, as I was getting my gear, I was actually just sitting right over there. There's the log I was taking uh, the last image for. As I was packing up, I mean, I looked at this tree that's been sitting off to my left, contemplating on whether or not I'd be able to use it in a frame so if you can see let me see if I can zoom in right here uh, see if I can brighten this up for you I mean this looks all right it's it's a decent composition uh, the the base of the tree and the lower half of the pond is at the bottom right hand corner of the frame and it's going up into the center of the frame and I've got great color in the sky right now some really nice wispy clouds are starting to turn some pinkish, pur pinkish purple color um, so yeah I figured I'd get this last composition in before I take off and then uh, we'll see how it goes okay so for this for this composition it's starting to look really good I think I'm gonna leave the foreground nice nice and underexposed no filters this time um, Focal length is all the way out to 16 millimeters. Still shoot at f8. I'm getting a 1 30th of a second shutter speed with ISO 100. Again, turned it on autofocus, focused on the top part of the tree to try to get it as, as tack sharp as I could. Uh, once I did that, I put it on uh, 
took the VR off, put it on manual, and then zoomed in to see how sharp the, the, the tree itself was. And it looks really good, nice and tack sharp. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this image. Actually, give me two seconds. I gotta get my, uh, well, I mean, I, I should be all right. I'm not going too fast of a shutter speed. 16 millimeters at 130th of a second. Um, I, I should be okay. So I'm just gonna do this without any cable release because that's what I was about to go get is my cable release. So see what this looks like. I think I'm going to call it a night, pack everything up, and head back to the house. So, um, again, as always, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed the content. If you do like it, hit the like button below. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Um, so, yeah, hopefully, the weather is going to get better. I'm going to be able to get out more and, and do some more content. It looks like Saturday actually might be a decent weather. We've got partly, uh, partly cloudy skies. So, hopefully, that's going to, you know, produce some decent. Uh, drama in the sky and hopefully we, we get some decent weather calm winds so i can get out and do something so anyway take it easy everyone we'll talk to you again later